what's up my peeps welcome back to my channel thank you for being here so today's video is gonna be my first ever halloween tutorial first i'm gonna start by canceling out my eyebrows i'm gonna go ahead and rub a washable glue stick on them and just kind of spoolie them flat after i get my eyebrows how i want them i go ahead and put some powder over them to help them dry quicker and to make sure that they don't go anywhere next using an eyeliner i'm gonna go in and sketch in um kind of like a rough outline of where i want everything to go i haven't even told you guys what i'm doing yet um so basically what i'm creating is a half spider-man half venom look I've been wanting to do this look for so long, I think since last year, but I didn't have the confidence to execute it. I mean, for this time around, you know, I tried my best and you guys will see at the end, it came out pretty good. So with any look, you just want to map everything out. It doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of want to get yourself an idea of like where everything's going to go so that way you can work by sections and in steps. The best way to go about of recreating a character is to always use a reference picture. So if you see me looking off to the side a lot because I'm looking at the picture that I chose to help my character come alive. Next, using some cotton and latex, I'm going to be creating Venom's mouth. I used a brush for this, but I probably should have used a sponge. Um, I didn't realize liquid latex was so watery, so a sponge would have definitely been better, but you know, you live and you learn. Um, so I did just put um, liquid latex on the shape of the mouth and I laid cotton over that. Then I saturated the cotton with liquid latex on top and kind of just layered it. Um, you can go ahead and do this technique until you're happy with the shape and size of your mouth. I probably should have done mine a little bit more thicker and probably a little bit bigger, but it wasn't that bad. So for the edges of the mouth where it like meets with your skin, you kind of want to blend those out. So using the cotton, um, you know, just kind of like stamp it down. Um, the cotton is really manipulative, so if you just kind of press it down, it'll work. So while that was drying, I decided to go ahead and start painting. All the paint that I used, I got it from the drugstore. This red in particular actually mixed a NYX Vivid Eyeliner Pot with some liquid lipstick to make it a little bit darker and a little bit more red. But I'll leave everything listed down below. So this is kind of where I messed up my red. I actually took an eyeshadow to kind of set it and I, you should always set your cream paint but for some reason it was making it really patchy it might have been my technique i'm pretty sure it was like i should have used a big fluffy brush to kind of set it but i used a small brush and kind of made it really patchy i tried to fix it along the way but um yeah i mean after i had the lines you can really tell anyways Next, I'm going to take the NYX uh, liquid liner in black vinyl. Um, I decided to use the vinyl one because it had sort of a sheen to it, kind of like the way that Spider-Man's suit is reflective, so I thought it was really cool. This eyeliner is actually really easy to work with. If you make a mistake, then you just all you have to do is wait for it to dry, and then you can kind of just scratch it off. Um, it's also very pigmented, so it goes on really, really nice. As for the line placement, I did use my reference picture. I did add one or two lines just to make the overall look a little bit more complete. As you can see, I decided to make the eye a little bit smaller. As I was drawing in the lines, I realized it was going to look better that way. Um, it also goes best with my face shape. It looked a little bit weird when I had the eyes really, really big. This is why you kind of want to sketch it out first because you know you might change your mind or you might not like a certain placement at least you know where you're standing and where you kind of want everything um, only because we sketched it out that way doesn't mean it has to stay that way so i just went ahead and filled in that little area that i missed the red when i was fixing the eye placement
next, I took a gel liner and filled in the black for the eyes. So what you want to do is take your time, make sure you're filling it in slowly. Don't try to do it all in one swoop. Um, that way the eyeliner is a little bit more pigmented and you have a little bit more control. Next, the part that I probably, probably regret the most, and it's using this white cream paint. I got this cream paint from Ulta. It was by, I think the brand is Revolution or something like that. Um, I put it near my eye and it immediately started to burn and it wasn't pigmented enough and it was very watery and it wouldn't dry down and it was just a mess I was so frustrated so I just decided to take my white eyeliner and go ahead and fill it in the great thing about this eyeliner is that it's very pigmented and it's super easy to work with the con is that it cracks like crazy but that was my last resort so I kind of had to roll with the punches here if you guys know of any white cream body paint that's really good please let me know because this was a struggle Next, I took my black eyeliner and outlined all the lines before I started going in with the black gel liner. This is where you want to be a little bit more detailed and kind of figure out the exact placement. Um, this one's a little bit easier than other characters because the outside of it's going to be completely black. So it gives you a little bit more leeway as to like where you can kind of mess up because it's just going to be covered by black anyways. Um, so that's really helpful. The mouthpiece is probably the trickiest to paint just because it has a lot of grooves and a lot of divots. So you kind of want to just go ahead and fill those in. Just be very careful because if you go a little bit too hard, you might end up ripping off your mouthpiece and then you're, you know, it's going to be bad. So um, just be very careful um, and just try to get into those little corners using a small brush. So apparently I do not know how to learn lessons and I decided to go in with the NYX uh, white eyeshadow base and this one didn't burn my eyes but it just was too sheer and it wasn't drying down as much as I wanted it to so I decided to wipe it off and just go in straight with the white eyeliner again it's a good eyeliner it's just that it cracks Using that same white eyeliner, I decided to add the little details of Venom's eyes. Using a red liquid lipstick, I'll leave it in the description box because I do not know what it's called. I just know it's NYX. Um, I'm going to fill in the inside of the mouth. You want to use a red that's a tad darker than the one you used all over your face. Then I used some black towards the back of the mouth just to give it a little bit more depth. As for the teeth, I actually made them myself. I did it with um, some Play-Doh and then I put Mod Podge over them. The Mod Podge really gave them that glossy look and prevented them from cracking. At first, the teeth were a bit difficult to apply. I tried to just stick them on with liquid latex, but it wasn't working. So I decided to wrap some cotton with latex around the end of the tooth and kind of just stick it on to the mouthpiece and that worked much better um, and the cotton actually made it look like I had like like you know like gums like the gums that you have in your teeth um, so that kind of added a really cool effect um, so yeah so if you're wanting to do this look that's just a little tip because it was a little bit difficult to apply these teeth
After I was happy with the placement and everything, I decided to add the last details, which was just adding some shadows and, and highlights um, between the black and the red and all that good stuff. So I took some eyeshadow and just kind of smoked it out right underneath the eye. And I also took uh, the eyeshadow um, down to each individual web. Um, just to give it a little bit more depth, a little bit more 3D effect, so it won't look so flat. Same thing with the white, just added a couple highlights here and there. Once the teeth were dry, I did go over the gum area and painted that red just so it can all like mesh as one mouthpiece. On a side note, I did paint my entire neck black using some body paint that I picked up at a pop-up Halloween store. And let's just say it came out really, really bad and it cracked really, really bad. So at the end of this, just ignore my neck because it looks pretty gross. Um, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section of a particular body paint that you guys buy that you guys know works really well. I also shaded around the venom eye towards the white just so it can make it seem like the webs are kind of like creeping up on his eye instead of just like laying there. Alright guys, this is the completed look. I really, really do like how it came out. Yes, there was some things I would have changed, like maybe gotten a better white paint. Um, also, I probably would have made the mouth a little bit bigger. But overall, I think it came out really good. This is the first time I've done anything like this. Um, so I was really proud of myself for taking on such a big challenge. Um, I don't know. I feel like from here, I'm just going to get better. So yeah, I'm not going to knock myself down. I think it came out really good. Um, so I'm happy. Well, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!